don't know. We got some kind of celebration going on here. Oh, what's going on? Man, it's coming down. Oh, my God. Good afternoon to y'all. We uh, out here on this beautiful, hot, summer-like day in spring. <laughs> well, we was down in town. Well, first let me ask y'all. How are you doing? You're doing good today. May God bless y'all. We love y'all. May God keep you here in my prayers. <laughs> All right. We was down in, in Pineville, our lo one of our local towns. And, um... We was down there, and it's kind of like in a real low, I call it like a little bowl, because it's real low in a valley, it's right next to the river. And uh, it was 95 degrees down there. Oh, gosh. Kane just fell. He's helping move that block out of the way, baby. It's not that it's in the way, it's just it was tilted. Well, flip it over on its... Uh, the solid side and step on it not like that because that that hole like like well i know okay be careful all right anyways it was it, it was 95 degrees and it was scorching hot and we're at our home now and uh, it's still hot it's like in the 80s but it's not scorching hot it's not like 95 degrees that's a hot. Well, that's what my vehicle said anyway. It may have been cooler than that actual temperature, but and plus was down in the town. I say it was 95 degrees. So, well, good news is my wife's my wife Darlene, Mama Bear, stopped by the 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 um, cabin place, and our cabin will be ready by May 1st through 1st of May. Which is actually an answered prayer because it gives me a little bit more time to get everything kind of settled and done. I pour water in my hair. <laughs> Can't and on my neck and He's my un nose. unloading our cement. We went last night to Lowe's, as I stated in my previous video, and we got us some uh, cement. And then I got me some plywood, and I'm going to turn my, my trailer into a dump bed or a hauling bed since I got an SUV. I've got this trailer. I got me just like a truck. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that plywood on the sides and on the front. The gate be okay open, and then I'll haul my sand or gravel or mulch or dirt, whatever I need to haul. I can haul it in my new truck bed <laughs> or trailer bed. Plus, it serves all other purposes. We can haul anything else in it, and if I want to extend it up, I can haul animals in it and all that good stuff and uh so that works out good so that's what we did last night and uh kane's taking a break he's gonna carry some of the bags in take him a break sit down yeah it's kind of hot too rest it's i'm sitting in the shade and it's really nice in the shade but out in that sun it's red hot ain't it bub yeah i got an oculus back he got his oculus back a friend that mommy works with got him some pieces and we rednecked it we zip tied it together and uh well you got the baby boy what's he doing chewing on stuff or are you chewing on stuff <laughs> now i can play maybe you can do a video oh but anyways we're gonna get this done and me and bub is going to and it's came in i call both of them bub though we're going and, and little bub and big bub here we're going to take and uh start fixing that once he gets it unloaded and then me and mommy started a new thing, which mommy did. I, I was just driving around. But after she gets off work, we start do, we're doing DoorDash around here. It's kind of new to the area. And it's okay. You make kind of decent money. But we're uh, doing DoorDash, and it's fun. She seems to think so. 
Make a little extra money. We need a little extra money so we can get this house Wait, done. Wait, I got so. a deal. What's that, bud? If you made over sixty dollars. Mhm. Mm Wait, sixty-four. Yeah. You have to buy me a controller. Tonight, if we make sixty-four, yeah. we'll see. We need the money, though, buddy. We gotta build this. We gotta finish this cabin. Hopefully before Christmas. You know. Yep. Yeah. So we have a Friday night live this weekend, so we won't be sitting on the front porch like we wanted to. But in a way, it's a blessing because I did pray about it and ask God if I if I can't do it in time, will you give me a little extra time? And He He granted me that prayer. And uh, they said they were starting on the floor of it this morning. We don't got no test this week. Oh, that's good, bud. And uh, so they said it'd take about three more weeks to get done. So it's putting us around first week of May and stuff like that. So. And Mama is pulling in the driveway. She is home. She is home. We got a lot to do that. It's supposed to rain. We was, we was also going to schedule a new intro this weekend. Uh, but we had Sunday picked out because it's supposed to be pretty Sunday. And now they're giving rain all day, so we'll see. You ready? Hi, Mama. Hi. What am I ready for? Go to Kelsey. Oh, you want to all go together and get yeah. her? And Kelsey's doing volleyball. Yeah. At the new school. Still on. She's at a practice right Cousin now. Cousin seventh grade. Yeah, they know that. So I guess I'm we're done. all going to go do that and let Kane. Can you on? No, I'm not mine because I put water on my... He's, he's hot. <laughs> uh, Kane, go ahead and cover it up. The rest of the semen up. Yeah, I got some on the floor. We gotta go. We're we going. All right, we're gonna get off here. We gotta run and get Kelsey from Bye. practice. We'll see you in a little in a snap. Well, it's done, guys. I uh, got the floor of it done. I got the little wild panels. I'm gonna zip tie them in because um, they don't need better. Just there to keep stuff from falling out the sides. So that's how it looks. That's uh, siding from Lowe's instead of buying the treated plywood. I figured I'd buy the siding. It says it's treated. I don't think it is, but oh well. It's what it is. It is what it is. I got it screwed down. I might take me some Thompson water shelter later and put it on it so it don't rot away as quickly. But this is it. That's my little truck bed from a trailer to a truck bed and I can haul all that goodness it's uh, approximately 11 and a half inches on the side so it's almost a foot so that's pretty good so yeah that's uh what we got going on here I got it done started raining as soon as I got my last one cut Got my tools picked up and it started raining. So, good thing that I got done what I did. And, yep. So I had the kids put the plywood up on the side of horses. And uh, I measured them out and left one in here for me. And I just went ahead and measured them out and marked them with a uh, chalk box and sawed them. And then throw them on here. Took me some screws, screwed it down to the existing boards. Uh, right here. And, uh, yeah. The rest is history. I come out here and I was like, man, this thing's already growing mold on it. But that was the concrete dust that was left on from where we hauled the concrete. <laughs> that was funny. Well, that's what I got going on today. My mama's going to go out later, and uh, we're going to uh, do door dashing because we have that scheduled. And my water little ditch that I made, you know, like not too long ago, a little bit of water there, but it's completely dry, guys. It has drained every bit of the water coming from underneath the house all the way there, and it's dry right now except for the floor. A few little high low spots in it. But I'm gonna get ready to go pineville. I'm gonna 
to. Oh. I'm going to go get my kids and I'm going to get me something to eat before I do. Meet my sister while I'm down there. And, uh, yeah, stuff I get. So, yeah, that's what I got going on today. Not a whole lot yet. Um, I think I was telling you in the previously in the video that our uh, building was, is being started next week. And they said give it about three more weeks, so around the 1st of May, which I was hoping that was the way. I prayed the Lord would grant me a little longer so I could get everything properly done, and he has. Glory be to God. So, but, uh, yeah, that's what I got going on today, and I'm pretty wore out from what little bit I've done. I can't do a whole lot because of my, my back and stuff and the way my hand is. It feels a little better today. Uh, I've got a brace for it, but uh, it still hurts. It still hurts pretty bad. And it's not only the hurt, it's the the feeling. It's a really odd feeling. Uh, so, but you're still praying for me, guys. I, I can't quit doing anything. Though. I got to keep moving, and I got to go for kids, and I got to help them. I can't let them do everything. It's, I just can't step back and do it. Even though they're younger and they're more capable than I am, I just, I'm the daddy and I can't stand for my children to do what I should be doing. Let's just say it that way. All right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. Maybe we're out door dashing. Maybe we're not. We'll see. We'll see what we're doing. We may get us a few runs on the door dash. All right, see you later. We're getting a good thunderstorm, guys. Look here, it's howling. I wondered why it was so cold out. Look at the yard. Looks like he's snowing. Can I get all the eyes up there? Woo! He probably just a killed off. So, a big eye. I cannot get no eye pieces. You want to do it? Oh, oh. You're a silly son. Come on in, it's thunder and lightning. Oh. Well, lightning is what I'm worried about. Man, it's coming down. Oh, you got hit in the head. Yeah, it's doing some hailing now. It's just, it, luckily, it's just pea size hail. Mm -hmm. Is that what things Okay. Hey guys. Well, I tell you what we're doing. We're trying to get. You see the little red tab and the sticker back there. We're trying to get that fixed. It's not working. That's one of our blend doors for our air conditioner and heater. And um, I've had to take my whole truck apart trying to get to it, and I'm still not having no luck. Day. It's been rough. I got me a little ice cream. We've had a rough way to go. Rough way to go. Today. <laughs> After we got off our live last night, we done, you know, finished door dashing. And uh, I tell you what, we had a busy night. It ended up taking us somewhere we weren't supposed to go. But anyways, it was a busy night. We didn't get home till like 12 o'clock. And I'm trying my best to get this out. And I'm not having no luck. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but it's getting dark outside. 
Uh, let's see here. I don't know how I can show you how dark it's getting. Yeah. Definitely. Well. Yeah, I guess it's about like what you see is what you get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess it's about like that. Not too much brighter than what it is outside. That's the same. A little bit darker. You can hear the frogs in the background. So next to that pond swamp. It, well, that was like that before the pond was there in the swamp. Uh, let's just hopefully we can get this done. If I can get that part out of there. I thought it's going to be easy. Don't listen. Don't ever listen to Google or the internet. Because look, to get that out, it's the only thing I had to do was take out my dashboard, which is right through here, or not my dashboard, but my glove box, which is right down through here. I took it out. Couldn't even see the part. Well, they said I found somebody. Finally said, yeah, what you got to do is take out the airbag. Well. We took out the airbag, which was right here. Guess what? Nope, not there either. So, I just went ahead and removed the dashboard to see if I could remove the ductwork. Well, no good there either. I did move it up enough to where I could get to it up here a little easier. And I can get to it under... Day hunt 362 of trying to get this uh, part out of the Cadillac. <laughs> well, it's a pain in the butt. Um, I've got one screw out, getting ready to get the last screw out. They don't have it out. Now i got to figure out how to unplug it. Did I say before, don't ever listen to the internet? So, all the videos that I've watched to try to get this thing out, bunch of baloney. But we about got it now. Uh, as soon as I get this one bow out, the part will be out, and I'll have it. It'll be ready to. Raymond Ray, that guy does mechanics, he holds the camera in one hand, does takes the part out with the other hand. My feller, I don't know how you do that, but bless you. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do much reason not a YouTube mechanic, I guess. Yeah, we're out here this morning, we're trying to get this done. So as we get this done, I'm putting it back together. And next time I have to take one of them actuators out, I'll leave it to a good professional. Let's just put it that way. I mean, a professional that can do it. It looks like it's the original spot part, but for some reason it looks like it's been out because there's a screw missing. Maybe they forgot to put it in there. I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and get this out here, and I'll come back to y'all when I get it put back in. Show you the final deal, and we'll put the car back together after that. So it'll be a little bit, guys. But for you, all, it'll be probably one millisecond <laughs> all right see you in a minute all right after tinkering with it putting the screw back in was a little easier than i thought it was going to be i got it back in guys Whoo! that's all i gotta say about that but it's in there i don't know if you can see it a little red tab right there that's the thing that's where it goes to it's supposed to be right there Hopefully this one lasts a long time for at least the ownership of this vehicle. <laughs> so what my plans is with this thing, it's not on my daily driver. I'm gonna fix it up and take it to Rod Run in the fall. So it ain't gonna be perfect when I take it to Rod Run. It'll be, you know, 
a little fuel cosmetic changes it already sounds really good I like to get the fuel engine into you know upgrades too for it maybe a tune get a little bit more horsepower out of it and uh hopefully bring it to y'all and some of you can come and see us at the ride run uh, it's not a car channel but we love cars it's my family channel we it's everyday life about me and my family just a kentucky family trying to make it that's it <laughs> But we uh, we love classic cars, and this thing's becoming a classic. I mean, this year it'll be 20 years old, so it's getting old. So I was 18 when this thing came out, or 17, 17 years old. I was a young whippersnapper, <laughs> and it's in still in really good shape considering it being that old. And I don't think the last person that owned it worked on it any. So my plan is. To for now is to get this head unit changed out as you can see it's seen better days this uh, control knob is busted uh, buttons is wore out on the radio and look here it's a dinosaur we even got an old cassette player who has that anymore so what I'm planning on doing is getting me a double den stereo system big old 10 inch it'll go from here to there and be all nice like you know <clears throat> and uh, gotta save up some money for that thing. That thing is three hundred dollars. So if you just want to support me, go buy you some t-shirts. Just give us a super thanks. Whatever you just want to do to help us get that, and we'll make a video out of it, changing that for you guys that likes to see car stuff or DIY stuff or whatever. And then another thing we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the dash kit, uh, instrument panel, instrument cluster. We will. I'm looking at some, it's got the LED upgrades and they're really pretty, but I also want to get some that kind of shows me in more detail what the mile per hour is, instead of it just saying 40, 50, and 60, 70, 80, because it's kind of hard to judge 55, and I like going 55, so. We're going to work on that next, but now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting back everything that we need to put back, and, uh, get this uh, thing put back together and uh, make it looking good so we'll see you in a few guys when we have everything put back together as it should be look here guys look I'm doing it well I was talking to a neighbor and he said that if I had done this at a GM dealership it would have been probably over $600 I think he said it was 105 or 150 dollars an hour and they take they charge you for six hours and yes i believe it i believe it only thing i got left to do now is put my glove box back in which is not a big deal i gotta put another vent in which is not a big deal either then i gotta put my trim pieces back in and my bezel around my instrument cluster and stuff so once i do all that this truck is back to normal i tested the air conditioner out i've got the battery disconnected right now because i put my airbag back in but uh because if i didn't do that then if i was to put it back in it was to get a charge to it wrong way it'd blow up in my face and that would not be fun i'd probably be going to the er with a broke neck <clears throat> But anyways, we uh, we got to put this bezel back in, put that stuff back in, button everything up. I've got to get that vent back in, button it up, I think. It's got two screws that holds it in. And I, I don't, I can't remember if this screw was supposed to go in or before. Yeah, I think so. Because I don't think there's nothing goes around that anyways okay so i've got this and guys i'm gonna have to get me a new dash for too long this stuff is peeling off of it it's just paint like stuff and it's peeling off the top it's peeling off the bottom what do you think i should do you think i should get me a new dash or put it wrap it in leather a nice satiny leather i think that's what i should do someday and actually insert that piece of wood right there actually put me some wood in it some nice hickory or walnut my favorite too woods 
Anyways, I've about got done. I've done a lot of stuff on this video. Uh, fixed my trailer. Uh, fixed my car. Worked my truck, as I like to say it. And, uh, yeah. Getting stuff done. I'm taking my sweet, lovely time too, guys. I'm not. I'm not getting in no big hurry. My back is killing me. My arm, my fingers are still numb. But I can do small things that don't hurt me, and I take my time at it. I've been working on this for two days. Yesterday I didn't even work on it because I had the stomach virus. So there was a pause in me taking everything apart and putting everything back together. So. Um, we've about got it ready to to go back together and stuff so um, I've about got everything done and back together um, so I think that'll be all I'll show you of the vehicle because it ain't got much left to do button everything back up and is my simulator on this evening. What we're going to do later on this evening, also today, if we can, is we're going to tear down our batter boards, get our string up. We got to cut some grass. I know it's, we've been doing all kinds of other things, but if I don't get my grass cut, we ain't going to be able to do much mowing. It'll take forever to cut it because it's getting high, if you can see, and especially in spots where it's a lot of water. But yeah, we're going to have to get that done today, also. So. Watching space see in the next scene is us cutting grass or tearing stuff down again. Maybe even cleaning up some. We'll see. Mama bears off with me today, which is good. I'm glad she had a four day weekend with me. So that's awesome. I don't know if we talk about doing a couple hours door dashing, but I ain't gonna start door dashing until about seven or eight o'clock tonight. Get that done. Earn a little extra money. About 50 bucks for two hours. So that's pretty good. So we may go do that later on tonight. We'll see. All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Well, we have come to the end of the day. We got, I don't know, we got some kind of celebration going on here. Oh, what's going on? I don't know. It's the end of the day. your birthday. No, my birthday's already gone. <laughs> Let me go. Okay. What, <laughs> what it is is the end of the day. End of the video. We're going to call it quits today. Oh, yeah. I got my vehicle back together. And it unlocked. The air conditioner works fine now. Yeah, we had a dilemma Saturday after I got done showing you about the little <coughs> thing the what I was changing. I got out of the car. Me and came, Sammy walked in the house to rest. Because it's kind of hot outside. Mm -hmm. I got in the house. and uh, We call the walked out of the car. Luckily, we had somebody close by that had a tool kit that came out and 20 bucks and he got my keys out. So that saved my day because I don't want to call real locksmiths to come out here and do it. <coughs> well, I got it back together. It works good. And what I'm finishing up now, as, as you can see, I hope you can see if the sun ain't too bad bright, but right there. I'm finishing my trailer up, and it's what it's going to kind of look like, guys. It's just like a truck bed. I think it looks kind of pretty, too, don't you, Mama? It looks good. Actually, it looks real good. If it was cheaper to do two befores all the way around it, that's what I would have done. But, but uh, anyways, it looks good like it is. It'll be good enough for me to get what I'm done. done. So, uh, what I'm doing, done? Yeah, what I'm doing, done. That's what I'm going to say, how I'm going to say it. But, uh, we're going to call that a video, guys. We hope you enjoyed us doing a little bit of everything in this video. A little bit of nothing in this video. I don't even really know what all we did in this video. Well, we'll surprise ourselves. Yeah, we'll surprise ourselves when we watch it or I'm editing it or whatever. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but, guys, if you did like it, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're hit new. That notification bell. Hit the notification bell. And uh, share us. Yeah. Share us so with anybody you like. Who and who tell me how good the video was. Right, just comment on something. It don't matter what it is. Uh, 
the sheriff with your friends, neighbors, also, family also, members, also, strangers, also. whoever. Yeah, go ahead and say something. You should also comment what I should get for my birthday because my birthday is coming in less than a month. May the 3rd. He'll be 12. He'll be 12. I'll be a year away from being a teenager. Oh, Lord. So, send him birthday cards for May 3rd. No, I just have one thing. In our uh, bio, on our bio page, it tells the address you can send it to. But, uh, all right, guys. We love y'all. We'll see you in the next video. And as always... Have a big birthday!